66 years ago, on April 19th, 1954, ten months before his ascension, Meishu Sama received a purification, a brain stroke. After this purification, Meishu Sama said something over and over again, something that was truly grave and important for us, followers of Meishu Sama. He said, From now on, we enter the world of Sonen, that is the world of mind and thought. From now on, we enter the world of Sonen. Jorei is not so important anymore. Sonen comes first, so pray in your hearts. I repeat, Meishu Sama said, From now on, we enter the world of Sonen. Jorei is not so important anymore. Sonen comes first, so pray in your hearts. Maybe many of you did not know this statement of Meishu Sama until today or until very recently. But now that you know, what would you do about it? What should we do about it? Should we just ignore it? Should we just interpret it in a way that suits us, so that we can continue what we've been doing up until now? Or should we receive it just as it is? Let me emphasize that this statement, from now on we enter the world of Sonen, Jore is not so important anymore, is not something said by Kyoshu Sama. It came from Meishu Sama. It came from Meishu Sama. Jore is not so important anymore. It came from Meishu Sama. And you know what else? For a very long time, we've been ignoring it. This statement, this statement of Meishu Sama was published in our official church publication in 1955, right after the ascension of Meishu Sama. But we've been ignoring it for a long time, saying that Jore is the most important practice for us, when Mesama in fact said that it is no longer that important. One day, when you go to heaven and meet Meshu Sama, he might ask you, I said to you that Jore is not so important anymore, and that from now on we enter the world of Sonen. Remember this? What have you done about it? He might ask you something like this. How are you going to answer this question? What are you going to say to Meishu Sama? So, we have to decide. How should we respond to this statement of Meishu Sama regarding Jorei and Sonen? It is up to each one of us to decide. To those who decide to ignore it or interpret it in a way that suits their needs, I have nothing to say except that I hope they can become true followers of Meishu Sama one day. To those who are willing to accept it and believe in Meishu Sama with all their heart, I have good news. We have Kyoshu Sama with us. If we accept this statement of Meishu Sama 100%, it is clear that we cannot have Jore as our main practice any longer, as he is saying that it is not so important anymore. How can we continue something that Meishu Sama said is not so important anymore? And for us, it is quite hard, isn't it? if we have to abandon Jorei altogether. But Kyoshi-sama is saying that we don't need to abandon Jorei. He's saying that the true Jorei is not done by us, with us raising our hands. He's saying that the true Jorei is done by God. Within each one of us, within all humanity, God is raising his hand of Jorei to us. Kyoshu Sama is saying that God emits his light of Jore to each one of us so that we can return to where the light is, to where God is, so that we can be one with God and live with him in heaven. Meishu Sama said, Jore is not so important anymore. Kyoshu Sama is saying that what Meishu Sama meant by this is that the physical act of raising one's hand when practicing Jore is not so important anymore. Meishu Sama said, from now on, we enter the world of Sonen. Sonen comes first, so pray in your hearts. Kyoshi-sama is saying that what Mesama meant by this is that we have to acknowledge that God and his hand of Jore exist in our hearts and that the true work of Jore by God is carried, is carried out within us all the time. 
Kyo Sama is saying that what Me Sama meant by statement is that God will no longer carry out his work of salvation through us raising our hands of joy, but God will carry it out through our hearts. And what does it mean for God to carry out his work of salvation through our hearts? In our everyday lives, through many things, like through our relationships with our family, friends, or neighbors, many emotions come to our hearts, don't they? Those emotions come to you because the light of God is illuminating your heart. Imagine, when light shines on something, it creates a shadow, doesn't it? It is exactly like this. All the negative thoughts and feelings you have are like the shadows. God is illuminating your hearts, and He is showing you the shadows so that He can save them. Our task is to obediently surrender what we feel into the hand of God. Because He's always raising His hand of joy to us. He's always illuminating our hearts. Meishu Sama said, from now on, we need to pray in our hearts. He's saying that from now on, that is the task of His followers. So let us pray in our hearts and surrender whatever we feel into the hand of God. Because that is how we can truly serve in the work of Jory in the era of Sonen. Now I need to say something else. When Mesama said that from now on we enter the world of Sonen, Jory is not so important anymore, is he, is he only talking about Jore? Did he refer only to Jore? I don't think so. I think he's also referring to all the physical activities that he left for us, including nature farming and art. Let's think. Meishu Sama is saying that we are now entering the world of Sonen, the world of mind and thought. Sonen, our mind and thought, is something invisible, isn't it? Mesama is saying that we have entered the world where things invisible come first. That means until then, we were living in the world where things visible came first. And what was the visible, what was the visible activity that was held in the highest regard in our church when Mesama made, when Meishu Sama made his statement? Jory, isn't that right? By saying that Jory is not so important anymore, and that we enter the world of Sonen, Mesam was telling us that God's salvation will now be carried out, now be carried out not through things visible like jewelry and other physical activity, activities, but through things invisible like our Sonen, mind, and thought. How revolutionary Mesam was. How revolutionary Mesam was. He must have known that his followers relied on jewelry so much but he said that it was not so important anymore. He said that it was time to move on. Why? Wasn't it because God told him so? Wasn't it because God told Meishu Sama, I will now use the sonen of, sonen of all humanity to advance my salvation? And receiving this will of God, Meishu Sama left us this message that is so crucial for us, followers of Meishu Sama. So how can we ignore this message? How can we turn away from such an important message that Meishu Sama left for us? And remember, he was in a lot of pain from the brain stroke too. He left this message while in such pain. Why? Wasn't it for us? Wasn't it for all humanity? Wasn't it for the salvation of all humanity? So now that we know this message of Meishu Sama, how can we ignore it any longer? How can we ignore it? And we have to remind ourselves, he left this message more than 60 years ago. From now on, we enter the world of Sonen. Jory is not so important anymore. He left this message more than 60 years ago. The time has come for us to wake up. We have to wake up. We can no longer ignore what Mei Sama left for us. How can we do that? The time has really come for us to accept Meishu Sama, to accept his true will. And we must thank Kyoshu Sama. We must thank Kyoshu Sama for allowing us to accept the true will of Meishu Sama. Actually, thanking is not enough, is it? Who taught us the importance of surrendering our thoughts and feelings to God? Who taught us the true meaning of Jore? Who taught us the true will of Meishu Sama? 
without Kyoshu Sama, without Kyoshu Sama, I'm pretty sure we'd still be wandering in, in, wandering in the darkness, carrying out the divine work in ways that are convenient for us. Without Kyoshu Sama, we'd still be ignoring Mes Sama and this true message. We really have to engrave this deep into our hearts, and we should never take any credit for the new faith of Mes Sama that Kyoshu Sama is now revealing to us. One last thing. Meshu Sama said that the name of the name of Messiah is the holy name that can bring final salvation. So let us do everything in the name of Messiah so that we can serve in the salvation of the whole world. Thank you, and may God's grace be with you all.